Hey, welcome back to another Mind the Mic podcast. I'm your host, Shubs, here with a very special guest in the building. The sounds of T. T. Fiso in the building. What's good, Uso? Hey, Sama Uso. Thanks, bro. Sharp brother. No, big love, my man. Big love. Hey, just for anybody that don't know who you is, brother, give us a little synopsis, a little background on yourself. Yeah, bro. Um, yeah, man. My name's um, Tindo Fiso. Um, commonly known now as T. It's a bit shorter. So my first name is Tindale. So when I do explain Ooh. it to people, they're like, Bro, what's your name again? So now it's Tindale. just T, bro. Just, yeah, wow. so now it's Boy, just that, T. That name publicly might not go off too good, eh? Oh, Tyndale. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, bro, yeah, nah. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yes, um, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, Fijian Samoan descent. I'm um, born and bred in South Auckland, up in um, Otahuhu. Now I'm staying out in Rewa, out of Manirewa. I um, grew up around the Clinton area, so still loud and proud of Rewa, man. Yeah, I'm father of four. Married and yeah, man. And um, I currently work as a uh, throughout the week, I work as a uh, facilitator. Of, um, I facilitate well being programs through high schools yeah. and also as a radio broadcaster for a station called New FM. Oh, true, true. yeah, man. So I work with Tim Provisor in there, man. Yeah, because I oh, see it Tim, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, too much. Yeah, bro. Shout out to the shout out to Tim's the man, yeah. he's the man, bro. He's the man. You had to be <laughs> solid. How long you been uh, in the whole in both spaces? How long you been in both spaces for? Oh, so well, the facilitating stuff has been just under a year now. Just yep. under a year. Um, I was doing a bit of um youth tutoring before that at one of our local tertiary providers. I've been doing broadcasting for going on two years now. Yeah, but two years. So been everywhere, but I felt like my feet was uh more serving the community and just um putting my voice out there, bro. Just like yourself, man. Just putting myself out there. That's it, man. That's it, man. That's it. That's it. And what you're doing, bro, that's mean. Not everyone has the, you know, the guts to put themselves out there, be a bit loud, so it's cool what you're doing, man. So, yeah, appreciate yeah, it, brother. Well, I've been loud all my life, because, uh, yeah, it's all good. One, <laughs> yeah, brother. But, you know, I think, too, like, um, when it comes to my sort of thing, I was a streamer for ages. I see that, like, in a way, like, I wasn't in a professional environment, but I was in a way getting my reps in to do this you know for like three four years but you know yep. streaming and just talking to you know and being off the cuff and then also just growing up brother you know growing up and living everywhere and you know 17 primary schools you gotta you gotta oh, talk to nice. different people all the time so i think it's just not innate but you know it's growing in me or it's been in me most yeah, of my life that's you know, just kind of, yeah this is just yeah yeah to but nah, and what about you? What 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 made you go into the direction of broadcasting? Like, did you go study for it, or did you just fall into? Oh it? yeah, I did a bit of study, but um, I worked as a teacher aide for a couple of years at a primary school. Oh, you and, loved us uh, moving. What yeah. a legend, brother! Me and Brian, I just thought um, I just thought the impact I was making on the school community was massive. So I thought, bro, I'm gonna go on a global scale. I try to go wider. So then I, I I kind of finished up from that job, and then I went to radio school, broadcasting school for about a year. Yeah. Got a quick diploma, and yeah, and then I got into the radio industry. Uh, yeah, man, it was for the just the mahi getting into the radio industry is pretty hard, but I think just oh, like true. yourself, bro, you just be consistent, bro, you'll get there. Yeah, bro, yeah. I know, I know, flash like yeah, I got a radio station, gig gus. Yeah, nah, nah, bro, nah. <laughs> you <laughs> flash out, but, uh, too much. Yeah, I'm just, yeah. I'm just on the internet, uh, to the laptop on, to the computer. Oh, that's it, bro. That's how you stop, bro. That's it, man. Yeah, yeah, just having yarns, but yeah, no, nah, that's awesome. What, what, yeah, what yeah. did you, what do you think you like going into the whole uh broadcasting school? Is there something that you, or is there anything that you think like, wow, I didn't expect that? Like, in oh, yeah, bro, oh, because when I first heard of radio, like, I just thought you just hop on the mic and talk, but it's more than that, eh? They work on oh, like, okay. your vocal image, um, Ooh, your vocal colors, your, like, inflections and all that, yeah, everything, man, yeah, just your different tones you use when you're on radio. Um, just I think it's your hand eye coordination, talking and touching buttons at the same time. Ooh, uh, oh, because you oh, you're gonna do that too. Yeah, yeah, man. Once you close up a song, boom, you know you gotta be quick. Um, bit of interviewing skills, skills. Um, what else? Yeah, man, just everything around broadcasting. It was cool, man. I enjoyed it. Mm, yeah, yeah. It, it was so good, man. Just yeah, I learned so much from the, um from radio school, which I'm currently using now in um in radio. But the yeah. thing is, once you um transition into the actual gig. That's a whole nother level, you know what I mean? It's oh, actually true. putting everything you learn, you know. And learning on the run too, eh? Yeah. Like even That's though you got all this knowledge, you're gonna apply it. It's different, That's eh? It, different. Yeah, I get it. I get what you mean. Yeah, okay. yeah. So that, that, yeah, man. That's where I was at. Yeah. 
Who's um like who's some of some of the people that you've uh, interviewed, cuz for anybody? Do you, anybody know any? Oh, other no, no name? big names yet, cuz no big names yet, brother. No big names yet. Uh, I was still. It's a bit of a buzz for me just being in the um same space as a lot of like um broadcasters, especially um where I am at um New FM. It's under um PMN Pacific Media Network, and that bro, yeah. that's like the holy grail of Pacific broadcasting, bro. Oh and really? I feel like for, yeah, and I feel like for every young um poly trying to get into the industry. I think once they make it into PMN, bro, it's yeah. like, you know, it's sacred, bro, you know, because there's a lot of um giants that walk before us, you know, in the industry. Yeah. And under well, PMN, so can you speak on some of them? They, they went before yeah, to, to carve yeah, the path. Guys like um, Oscar Kitely. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's, uh, that's giant ass. That's, yeah, bro. That's Oscar bizarre. Kitely, um, Salah mm. Alo, Kua Manga Siva, um, Tawila man. Blakely. Yeah, bro. So R. all R. these. Smith. Yeah, man. So when you go there, I feel like you're not creating your own legacy. You're like, just carry the legacy left by them. Like you the old black mean? jersey, yeah. Yeah, yeah bro, bro. same thing, man. Like, yeah, it's staple like as brother. So, yeah, when you go there, you know that you, there's only one job to do, and that's um, not only to carry the legacy on, but to serve our, um, our people. And <laughs> everyone in that workspace is there for the same purpose, man. And you know what it is, bro? When everyone's there for the same purpose, you do nothing but thrive, brother. So that's yeah. what's been happening. So, yeah, man. I it's me, bro. And acres. I and that's it, brother. That's up, yeah, mm, yeah, man. When you're yeah, yeah. pushing in that this power and unity too, eh? Cause when you like in and, and, and whether it's for positive or negative, to be honest, like you know, That's look at what man. some people like throughout history have done bad things, but they had yeah. a whole lot of people behind them that were moving in the same direction. And obviously, if it's for good, it's even better, but uh, way better. But yeah, power and unity, cuz for sure. That's it, brother. Yeah, she's, she's, she's needing the uh proof broadcast not to say it. <laughs> 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 Hey, he's like, yeah, I'm the wrong fellow to talk to. Yeah, no, 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 I'm just taking, man. Yeah. Yeah. but no, nah, that's awesome, brother. Awesome. I, I think, because uh, remember, when, like, when we, I don't know, like, when were you growing up? Were you 80s, 90s? Uh, I was, I, I'm a 80, I was born in 88, bro, so early 90s. Ah, must be, uh, yeah, 90s, 90s, like a 90s growing up here. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Like, there was only my FM makers, like, there was bro, that's early, it, man. back in the days, so. only my FM. And, mm. and the good thing about my film is like you actually saw like our faces on you know like out there yeah. in the broadcasting industry like because you can't be there. what you can't see yeah, brother. Man. you know what i mean that's it, man and just seeing them kind of bro, it's huge eh? and I, I think us as um brown faces in the broadcasting industry we kind of lay the platform for the ones coming through like the high schools yeah. they want to get into the industry and yeah, it's cool huh? just us being there now and with social media you know they get to see our face who we are so mm. it's like oh bro that's like one of my kind i'm gonna jump into that industry you know what i mean yeah, you know so, what, and and that's something that I sort of with, with what I'm trying to do this little thing here. Obviously, I, I have plans to try and build it as big as I can. I'm gonna make it as hard as I can to make it happen. And we got a solid squad, you know. They just roll with us, and and they. But I'm 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 with you, brother. Like you know, if you can't be what you can't see, but also I don't even think it's just teenagers because I think also people like myself. Oh, I'm 32, cause I just started this 32 yeah. years old. You age, hey, you started this two years ago, cause you know, 32. Bro, like, you know what I mean? Even brothers that are, you know, have these ideas, but may maybe never pulled the trigger. And that, that's a big one for me, too, because it, a year ago, because yeah, I nearly ended my life, brother, because I wanted oh, to do yeah. this, but I wasn't on the path that I should have been. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And then I, I've switched all of that. And now, I'm, now I feel like this isn't even my cuts. This is just fun. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and yeah, the more of us that can be in spaces, like, mm. Uh, the you know like these or radio or tv the more our people That's can it, be like you know oh i can do that too or maybe i can give it a crack whether they and yeah, yeah. I, that's a big one that i that's a demographic that i want to sort of speak to too not just police mm. but the brothers or sisters that are on the fence that have all that's the it. talent but never gave it a crack like it's never too later come on let's have no, a game never never too too late. Late. yeah no, and, um, like a lot of the things we, when we go into the high schools and speak like we touch on well-being but I always try and get them out of that box, you know, that box that they grew up in, especially with yeah. our, our boys. Yes. I tell them, man, you know, dream big, just dream big. And, like, I feel like, especially with us, uh, we get a bit too humble, a bit too respectful that we don't actually speak our mind and reach where we want to go. And we get too mm. worried about those around us, you know, worried mm. about our parents, what they're going to think about our dreams and goals. Like, bro, mm. when I went into the radio industry, when I wanted to make it, bro, my mom was like, you know, like, she's like... <laughs> <laughs> what else do you But she didn't realize that I had a bigger vision and that was to yeah. kind of you know inspire others, touch others through radio and just mm. through broadcasting. And that was me, and I stuck with it, bro. 
that, yeah, that was the main thing, man. Yo. Yeah, nah. Shut up. Shout out to mum, but like it, it, that's the thing, dude. It's hard, like it's hard when you got a vision aid to like, like even some of our homies now, but they're like, we only babies, but are we only babies in this game? That's like, a, uh, that's and, a... brother, but like, um, when I set out, like, and, and I actually told, I I was trying to tell like each of my homies the vision, and they're like, what did you? But but like, if I just spent more time, even even back before I started, just. Never mind and just do it, you know what I mean? And now they're like, Oh, I see what you're up to, cuz I get it now. Yeah. Like, oh, you want to talk to me now? No, 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 you're right, you're right, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you just gotta go do it, eh, cuz and just show them, you know That's what I mean? It. Be that, you be the vision, bro. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because what, what I, I did, bro, like, uh, oh, no, carry on, bro, carry on, brother. No, 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 go, 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 go. go. Oh, so what, what I did, you, as soon as I finished from the school, I started my own Facebook, bro. So I thought, yep. what was one way of getting me into the industry? This was before yep. radio school. So I started my own Facebook page, um, The Sound of Tea, because I thought, you know, that's my own sound. Yeah, and yeah, brother, keep talking, brother. I'm just going to get a drink, but I can hear. Oh, go for it, bro. Go for it, bro. Keep talking, brother. Oh, yeah, bro. And like, um, and every night I just made my own radio shows, eh? Yeah, I started my own radio shows every single night, man. I went live for about three months on Facebook. And same thing, bro. Just the boys, you know, the family just... They don't want to see you. I feel like it's those close to us that bring us down, brother. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, of course it is, brother. Yeah. You know what it is, though. I That's think it, too. Yeah. I think it's too because a lot of a lot of them they have their own untapped potential or dreams they didn't pursue, brother. You know You're what right, I mean? Bro. You know, or maybe they pursued it and failed. But failure isn't always the end, brother. You nah. a lot of times you got to fall over, fall over to get to you know what I mean the success fail forward you know what I mean some mm -hmm. people give up before they get the blessing you know what I mean too that's it man yeah, so that's that's what I think and then also who knows in their life who's been telling them you're nothing you're this and that you know cuz mm -hmm. like yeah, I even yeah. think I even think the whole like colonization is quite a sort of buzz brother like I think there's so much um intergenerational like mental trauma yeah. like of being told you're you're your second class and being yeah. so like us as people don't want to rise out of that like a mm. lot of times, oh no, that's what I think. I think, like, no, you're right, bro. You're right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, in that box, you know, and we yeah, just yeah, don't yeah. want to come out because that's what we were like told to do. Like, we couldn't actually do it, and yeah, we see yeah. one of the ones close to us doing us, like, bro, how come you're doing that? You know, we can't do that, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Get back down, yeah, like crabs in a bucket or whatever it is. They get back that's down, it, bro, yeah. it, but, but I think the mentality, just from my own thoughts, just my own opinion, because like it's just. That like yeah like we, we can't change what's happened to all of our islands and all of this and that we live where we live and also we will probably have some blood in there too and we are humans at the end of the day one people you know one you know people of the of the great world uh, but I, I definitely think like if you if you put under like there's a lot of not just uh, social aspects of like that you got to fight out to you know you start from a lower place than a lot of people because of things but that doesn't mean you can't make it either like you know what I mean I'm a big That's believer it. if someone looks like you and they've made it you can too you know what I mean like no matter like you know if you put all the card like all your cards on on the table like and someone else has the same cards and they've made it and whatever you want to do you can too brother you know what I mean That's you it, just yeah. gotta put get out of our own way and you mm. know what I mean and not let the 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 drama or the or the haters or the people that are around us that they love us but they just they love don't us, know man, how bro. to you know how to support it because generations of like use are second class you know mm. generations of like don't shine little brown boy you know what i mean you know yeah, you're too loud little brown man get over here you know get in the paddy wagon get in the you know <laughs> all of those things because have to yeah, man. affect us like generationally because because then you know, if, if that happens to your great great grand, let's say our great great grandfather, like I'm Maori, so you know, yeah. let's say that happens to my tupuna brother, like uh, back in the 1900s, like they're told, like, nah, you can't get citizenship or whatever it is, you know what I mean? And then, then and, and so on and so on, like that, that just trickles down because yeah. to like, bro, don't be too loud because you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. and that's where the whole be humble. I think a lot of, like Izzy said, like, remember Izzy in that speech at the Halbergs when he's like, bro, mm. if you see. The black, the, the 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 black caps who bro pumped them up, cause they're That's winning it. for us. You know, as you see, yeah. sailing doing well, like pumped them up. Don't don't be hating on someone else's shine, cause their shine shouldn't block yours. You know what I mean? Nah. Like go get it. And also, I think the humble term, cause I think we, our our finals they throw it around because of yeah. this, what we've been told. Yeah, but throwing the humble term around is it just means shut up. It doesn't mean That's like it. it's not like because you can stand in your own power, like and say. Bro, I've done this and I'm proud of myself. 
but that doesn't put you down like some anyone else yeah. down. That's just me. I can give myself flowers and be proud of it and not have a big head just to be you're allowed to be proud of what you achieve because like that's another thing too. Now people don't want to share. Well, oh, fuck, I cracked mm. it, but I don't want to tell anybody. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now you're right on there, bro. Like you said, man. Like it's real bad. And I, I think it, like like you got to actually dig it into the minds. Like especially with the teenagers now, when you go into the schools, we tell them, man, like no matter your environment, no matter your upbringing, you can change it. Yeah, like, you know and look mean? at me. Look at you guys, like, yeah, start on a real Facebook man. show. Hold that's us, awesome, man. Yeah. That's it, man. It's only one way forward. So I think that's the main things that we've been trying to dig into our kids these days, but especially with social media and everything going around, it's a different breed, this generation, it's man. A so different, it's different, different breed, bro. Different yeah. breed, man. So that's what we've been doing, man. Just mainly focusing on their well-being, you know, just... Mm. Yeah, the, the, that's that's the hardest thing, man. Just getting in there every single day into these high schools and just yep. you know touching on their well being, understanding Building where they are. With this way, with the, like, like a, yeah, because that's I think key to a like we live in that microwave era, eh, brother, where everything mm. is quick, 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 and you know friendships are quick, quick, quick these days too. You know what I mean? Like, but yeah, if you can have someone that's like that's steadfast and showing you that like the way and stuff like that and. Yeah, hundred. Oh, I love that. It's beautiful, Mahi, brother. Beautiful. Yeah, man. Good on yeah, you, yeah. yeah. So you pretty much grew up like... in Riwa? Oh, sorry, sorry. Carry on, brother. No, carry no, no. Carry on, carry on, bro. Carry on. No, no. What are you gonna see? No, I, I just felt like it's good to always have like a mentor or someone, at least one person that you yeah. can look up to or talk to. You know what I mean, bro? Bro, I none comes. I fuck a zero. I have my kuro, but but he was busy all the time. What about you? Did you have any good role models growing up? Ooh, uh, growing up, I would say uh, my mom's brother. Oh yeah, my uncle Steve. He's 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 like a senior sergeant now, but he was the one always. You know, there's cool uncles that always put us in our place. Yeah, yeah. Be the but role you, need model that, now. Eh? you need that, you bro. Need you need that. The young cool <laughs> uncle. You know? Let's yeah, things yeah. slide, but at the same time, it's like nah, yeah, at the bro, same time, nah, come on, brothers. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. So now, nah, so at the moment, I do have a mentor. I look up there. Yeah, I got a mentor that I touch base with every now and then, just to hold myself accountable and just to make sure you know everything's on the right track. Hmm. So yeah, that's yeah. awesome, brother. Shout out to the yeah. mentor, cousin. I think I think too, if, if people are like, oh, I don't have money for a mentor, or I don't or I don't have someone that, that's willing to give me their time for free. Bro, there's men- go and read books, cuz this mentor's there. Go, it's, the go, best, and, go and listen to podcasts of people that you that have done stuff that you want to do. You know what I mean? Mm. Like there's a mentor yeah. too, cuz you know what I mean? Because they're yeah. giving game, they're giving game. That's Obviously, right. if you can have a personal one that you can reach out to, that's yeah. even better. Well, yeah, you know what I mean? If you don't have that, we got YouTube. Yeah. If you're talking That's to me or listen, so if you're listening to this, you're listening on some device, you can listen to a mentor somewhere too. <laughs> Maybe the sounds of tea. Probably not. Oh. I don't, don't want to be your mentor. Yeah. No, no. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 yeah. Or that they want to go through. Sorry, you know what I mean? Eh? Like, if, like yeah. if I didn't want to become, like if I wanted to become a content creator, I wouldn't ask my grandmother for help. You know, I'll ask her yeah, for sure. That's, that's a different world. Me, you know? That's it, yeah, man. That's a, that's, a yeah, that's a good point, cause I you like know, that. So I'll ask someone that's been down their road because they've been I mean, down their man. road. They know what it's like. So hey, bro, you know. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I think that's how I find my mentors, people that have been through what I'm going through now. Yeah, heard. And, and that's with, with even with mum. Shout out to mum, but like. She ain't no radio broadcaster, she or she was. Ah, man. That's what yeah. I mean. Like, you know what I mean? That's so, it, that's, that's the thing, too, eh? Because, like, I try to, like, yeah, I've tried to lean in things, like, even in the past, because I was a TikTok streamer for ages, like, got number one and all that in the ranks. I don't know if you understand that stuff, but oh, nice, it's a man, pretty nice. big deal if you're on TikTok and you do live streaming. We got number one on all the ranks uh, in an Aussie in New Zealand. Um, oh, cool. And, like, pretty much used to rank all the time. But, but finally, a year ago, that's actually part of the whole thing. Uh, when I ended up nearly, you know, ending the life. Oh. The, it wasn't TikTok. It was just like, I was just in pursuit of that, but I wasn't living, but I wasn't like living my purpose and just like even stuff around me that I just neglected, but uh, I pushed to the side, you know, they started to pile up on myself. So it's not yeah. that. Like if I had my life sorted the way, it, you know, the way I'm working towards now, or if I was working towards that, that wouldn't happen, brother. But so, you, you know, you get to the top of the mountain and the thing you want, that you, know, you want to achieve with your squad, and we get there, we finally crack it, bro. I got banned so many times on live because because mm. it's, it's, it's a it's a lethal game, brother. But like, you know, so like these heaps of times, I could have had the opportunity. We had the opportunity to do it, but then you get banned before the end, and you get taken off the rankings. It's like ah, you know what I mean? Like, 
yeah so to finally do it was cool and we did like there was a one called dream factory uh we got that which is an invite only one from tiktok we got that number one and then the next week we got the rising stars on another account and then we got top one weeklies which which will never happen again because weeklies has gone to dailies now so the rankings go every day oh, all right yeah. yeah 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 but so that was you know that was the game brother but yeah again like bro i couldn't have like <laughs> when i was telling my father about it they're like what the hell is that though? That's stupid. That's right, eh? <laughs> that, like, yeah, that's that's that, I don't understand yeah. anybody. That's, that's, right, yeah. that's stupid. Oh, that's big, yeah. bro. That's mean. That's huge, yeah. man. Number one. Ah, it was fun, my brother. Yeah, it was you know, in like even for like like shout out because there's there's a few like there's a few quite a few whistles in uh Tokos on there that have got number one quite a bit, but even in yeah. the, like like uh a couple of braves, but in like the even Maldives, but there was any cuzzy tricks got Top, top one it is yep. a big yep. platform hey, and, yeah, yeah, and then has his son brother so which he had, he had a bit of a platform too so like well i don't have no platform to us when live because people were like oh you do content like i only just started doing content this this year very hard oh, to go live because he took tickle <laughs> yeah. but there's always that one person out there that will love your content bro that's how i see it eh? yeah that's oh, it man there's always oh. yeah yeah and, then, and you know what I've, i i was like bro i think back now and i was like bro there's so much funny stuff that i that I because you get you have the video in your in your um uh library for like 90 days. I should have like uh like contented up heaps of those videos or sent, sent it to someone because heaps of them were funny, yes, but, but those are all yeah. gone now. Like good content, oh, like oh. even even think about life cuz when you're going through life and you're like, wow, that would have been some good content, some of That's the funny yarns you've had, bro. Yeah, yeah. Uh, even to my brothers, I'm like, they're like, Oh, my life's boring now. I don't want to do content. I was like yeah, but like, uh, like ninety nine percent of the planet's life's boring. Like that's relatable. That's it. <laughs> like, that's it, that's you know, it. get your phone and say, hey, "If I know, just had a banana and toast for breakfast. Hope you're having a good day." Boom. Tell me, you know, that's, that's another one. Right, yeah, yeah, and then the, a lot you of them are like, oh, "I don't have time." And they're like, that took ten seconds, bro. You know what I mean? Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on now. Oh, yeah. oh. Uh, so like, <clears throat> what was it like growing up in? Say, how long were you in in Manurewa for? How long have you been there for? So I've been a Manorewa off for about oh just over 25 years now, bro. Oh, so you pretty much grew up, grew up three days. Yeah, yeah. We yeah, yeah. Oh, was sorry. a good place. I grew up in um out in Clinton first. Yeah, yeah. I, I love it, eh, man. I love it. It always humbles What's the best me. Best bakery in Manurewa? Oh, bro. It has to be uh men's bakery, bro. Clinton bakery. Oh, men's bakery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hefty, yeah. hefty, man. Hefty. It's always like been do you, I know I know Tim's story, but like do you like a new FM? Do they got like a contract with Mins or something? No, 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 no. you should have seen too with the very Tim, and then uh, uh someone's writing in the comments of one of the clips, like one of the, the shorts or whatever on the YouTube of like bro, Mins Mins is not even me. Like all these people going at it. I know, bro, I know, I know. Thing. <laughs> like I on, on, on our post, I was like, oh, what the hell is these fellas on about? There's this? another oh. one, bro. There's another one. I just found out it's always been there. It's called Tiffany Tiff's Bakery. Yeah, that's what everybody keeps telling me. Gee, it's that's like... another one, bro. I tried it. They got some good pies, but I'm going oh, for yeah. Mince just because you know grew up in Clendon and he's it's a good dude. So you know, yeah. yeah oh, this that Tim's way. was that was Tim's for Caro too. That was hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, nah, oh, stick with it, bro. Good follow. Hey, loyalty, my baby. Loyalty, baby. Loyalty, baby. Loyalty, okay, up the walls. Now, who you got? Up the walls. <laughs> Through the, you gave it a walls too, or nah? Oh, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. The yeah. walls always my team that I have. You know, there's always a second to team. To the death, my brother. To the yeah. death, man. Even when they take off. <laughs> yeah, always my brother bah, bro, I had some bro, my, 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 after last year I was like oh and then That's the lightning thought, oh I, I was this brother I could like I was like wow like we actually have like it's not like a, this is our year every year buzz I was because nah. I'm not a bandwagoner because I've been on the I've been on the coaster since I was a, a baby but uh, since I can remember yeah, yeah. You know? my yeah. first memories aren't of the All Blacks are like sporting memories I was watching the Warriors when I'm like four three years old or something five years four years old it's like your best Warriors yeah oh all, all time yeah bro hey, hey, all, you the packs, all the packs nah, nah, let's the go let's go let's go let's go 13 we'll go we'll go position we'll go we'll start it we'll start it we'll start at locker Let's start at lock and, and you start. Oh, we'll start at lock. We'll save the halves for last, the halves and the hooker for last. Yeah. We'll do the fourth mm. pack first. Okay, give us your lock and then I'll take one. We can't pick the same person. So you I'll get Ali. Huh? Ali, 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 Ali,
Yeah, I'll put him in my lock, yeah. Ah, okay. I'll what a steal lock, of yeah. guys. Fuck, I could have left him for the back room and stole him. I know, bro. I know, bro. Okay, I'll put him in my lock, bro. I'll put him in my lock. All right. Lock, lock, lock. Fuck. Lock. I guess, like, for, as a player, cuz, I'm just going to, I'm, I'm just going to go, I'm just going to have to go, like, Tohu. Like, if you put Tohu with some guns, Ooh, like, yes, Tohu's yes. the man, G. Tohu's the man. You know, they look like much the cuzzy, like just look nah. like a big gangly thing, but holy wreck. The engine, I know, looks a bit tired these days. Maybe it needs a rest. Uh, but yeah, yeah, tohu, tohu for me. Uh, like I could have gone Mandarin, obviously, for, for time in the jersey and that. But I think tohu offers a bit more, like, you know, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. And, and still has the same sort of engine, because we'll make all yeah. the tackles and that. Mm. Yeah. I'll go tohu, tohu, cuz. You go, 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 yeah. you get the first back row spot then. Oof. I, I was trying to go old school, eh? But then I'm like, go oh. whoever, brother. This is your team, cuz this is the sound of T. Yeah. Oh, this is the sound of T's team, baby. Back row, back row. What's up? Back row. Oh, you go first, bro. You go first, bro. Okay, okay. I'll go first, and then you go on the next one. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go first. Uh, back row. I'm going to go. Oh, who do I think was the, the, the fuck? I'm just gonna I'm I'm gonna go Gutenbill cuz I'm gonna go oh I'm Gutenbill. I'm gonna go oh I'm Gutenbill. Just you know, even though um you know, just 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 put a mana there, cuz put a mana yeah, there yeah, and yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay, oh, I'll go and Gutenbill. Who you got? Who you got? Yeah, I want it. All right, my one would be the Jerry Suicy ever play um nah back or nah. Nah, oh, nah, shoot. nah. But if you want to put the Uso there, that's your choice, that's your team. Oh, you can put a lance higher there if you want. <laughs> he oh, played oh, everywhere. <laughs> Jerry. Ooh. He's a man. Only Hurricane. I'll, I'll chuck Jerry there, bro. Yeah, back right. Let's yeah, bro. Go, my, bro. Mind's, like my mind's messed up now with all the players. Yeah, yo. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, well, you, get, you, get the next, you get the next spot, brother. The next back row, too. Ooh. Who we got? Who we got? Do, 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 do. Bro, can you drop some players down? Some back rows. Yeah, some back rows. Some back rows. Um, ooh, who we got? Who's who's played back row for us and been gun? Um, but besides like Arwen, Ali Lao, <laughs> he stole. The, we we took them already. Yeah. <laughs> Logan Swan. Uh, Logan Swan was 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 a whip. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else was a weapon? Um. Actually, I might, I might actually change mine. Actually, hey, um, I'll go Logan. I'll go Logan, bro. I'll keep up Logan. You go, go Logan. Then go Logan. All right. Logan. Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm gonna switch it. Actually, brother, I'm gonna do those ones. I'm gonna put Tohu at back row, and I'm gonna put Eliza Taylor at lock. But why Eliza Taylor? Like, obviously, I know his Warriors career wasn't that long. And yep. then you know, I just think Mahi cuts Mahi on, but also Mahi, he yeah. could ball play a little bit too. And but then True. you know, Tohu was mean at the storm as a, as a back rower, too. You know, grand final yeah, winner yeah. there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put Eliza Taylor and you know, a couple more, a couple Maori brothers in there, yeah. Man, he's <laughs> man. And, and, and actually, brother, he the podcast I did with him that uh, that, that was the genesis of like all of these interviews I do now. He was the first one outside of my mates that I interviewed, brother, yeah. And I don't know, have you seen his footy hacks page that he has? <sighs> okay. Too good, bro, man. So, too good. Bro, what, when I was watching that footy hacks page, I was like, oh, the bro's giving game. Maybe he'll come on. And I didn't realize, like, yeah, I'll message them. And he messaged me straight away. And then, and not only did he message straight away, he was also like, as we as we began conversation more, he was like, I was like, you know, telling them what I want to do. He's like, bro, message everyone. Just message everyone. Message everyone, guys. If they say, you know what I mean? So that's what I've been doing. So, yeah, shout out to Eliza Taylor. Like, we could have gone like Ryan Hoffman or something, but. I don't think Ryan Hoffman Warriors was that great. Oh, nah. Oh, nah, nah, nah. He was just... I felt some of the players that came through to the Warriors, they were just kind of retiring there. That's what I yeah, felt. Well, he's coming for, but I'll kick get the bag, eh, cuz? Because you the the first Get the bag, cuz. Oh, because then he went back to the storm and was like, did, did they win a grand final yeah, again? I can't even remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he was gunning at the storm, obviously. Uh, props by the front rows. I'm going to go. Um, oh, he's not going to last long, but I'm going to go. If it's a Paleocina, let's go. Oh, oh. I was going to go for him, bro. I was going to go for him. <laughs> That's yeah. one prop. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you got heaps of props, cuz. Yeah, yeah. got... How many did how many Lawaki paid? Um, prop A, yeah, he did. Yeah, oh, I'll, I'll, the get homie. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, proper lot, a proper second row. Yeah, 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 that's right. You're asking for him, yeah. Ooh, oh, we, 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 we're, go, we're go, both going for the one hundred quarter runs here. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, baby. Uh, I'll, go, I'll, I'll, go, I'll go. I'll go. Uh, I'll go. Um, I'll get a bit of mayonnaise in there, brother. I'll get old Steve Price. Yeah, I'll chuck old Steve Price in there with a mayonnaise. Yeah, Steve Price. Might have to go old school, Mark Tuki. Oh, he's made, uh, he's made a nice two, ain't it, brother? For Hampty, I thought it was, bro. I thought the bro was a moldy. I thought it was, like, I didn't know because like, I was a kid. When I was a kid, I was like, I thought his name was like T U K I, like Tuki. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I don't know how because bro, I wasn't reading no spelling, I just hear the name, you know. What was the name? Jason Costigan. Remember that Aussie fella that used to commentate her? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. Mark Toki. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One of my favorite lines was um, there's no party like a row party. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Jason Costigan, G. He was out. He was on now. Oh, come on the podcast now, Jason. Um, okay, we're gonna go. We'll go, we'll go to the we'll go to the we'll save hooker and house for last. We'll go to the let's go centers, centers and wingers, centers and wingers, brother. And we'll say full back or we'll say for the spine for last. Centers and wingers, you got I'll go Clinton Tippy. Conrad. Conrad, have to. Conny, I'll roll. Have to. Yeah. Next one, next one, cuz. I'll just chuck Jerome there, man. Jerome Ray Party. He had a good career, man. I didn't mind him, yeah. Yeah, yeah, shout out to oh, Jerome. Yeah. And a good dude, apparently, too. A really good dude. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. Well, I don't know. I just I heard. Hey, uh, um, oh, far centers. Who else we got? Yeah, no, nah, I'm not putting him there. Oh, no, nah, you probably take him anyway. I'm going to take Roger too fast. I'm going to put him at center. Oh, <laughs> so can I take him for fullback? <laughs> oh. <laughs> wings, my brother. Wings. Oh, wings. Oh, I would go. Um... Probably Francis Milley. Oh. I'll go Francis. You know, oh, oh, he whipping. Hey, remember when he scored those five tries against the Bulldogs and then semi? Easy, yeah. man. Remember everyone yeah, used to whack on him too. He's a whack everyone, eh, G? Oh, he was man. like, before he met that, eh, Matai. That's it, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I'll go, I'll uh, go, I'll go, Nah, nah. Hey, I'll, first okay, first. I, I want to stay up for a long time, so I'm going to go Manu Vatufai. Hey, let's go. Hey. Shout out to the dog. <laughs> Shout out to my dog. See ya. Hey. Manu. Uh, my next Warriors one would be probably DWZ right now. I'll put him here. Ooh, that yeah. was good, cuz. I'll check him later. Uh, what wing am I going to go then? I'm going to go on the wing. Ooh, who are we going? Uh, far, I don't, I don't know. Uh, oh, Henry, I feel he was Henry. Henry, yeah, let's go. Oh, yeah, 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 he, he didn't get, yeah, Harry, he didn't get as much ball. Hey, eh? Millie got a lot more ball in there, but yeah, yeah. Have, have you did, but uh, and he had wheels of them. Yeah, Henry, shout out to Henry. Yeah, who's your fullback, cuz? Oh, very hands down, Kevin Locke, man, Kevin Locke. <laughs> Yeah, hands down. Oh, Brent Webb, hands lock. down. Brent Webb, hands down. Brent Webb. Brent Webb. Oh, I forgot about Brent Webb. <laughs> Brent Webb was whipping too. Nobby the man, yeah. And let's go, let's go. Hooker, who's your hooker? All-time hooker for the sound of T. Probably Thomas, Thomas Luluay. Oh, can hit too, yeah. though, brother. Hey, uh, that's a man. I'll go for Thomas. Too. Yeah, that's on. I like that. Uh. Yeah. Bro, my, my hooker. I'm going to put I'm gonna put the Huntley Hurricane in just to get him in the team, because Huntley Hurricane. Yeah, at hooker, yeah, just to get yeah. him in the team because later years, man, he started carving it like for some reason. Yeah, later years, I like, yeah, man, yeah, and it was rookie of the year, his first year, too. And we yeah, went to yeah, the grand right. final, that's right. yeah. rookie of the year. Yeah, Shout yeah, out to the bit, I think he's in America now, eh? Hey? T-Town coaching rugby union. Oh, is he? I'm not too sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think so, brother. Yeah, I think he married American lady while he was in the I don't know if it was in England or where he met her, but yeah, yeah shout out to Huntley oh, Hurricane. Yes, yes. Oh, half's them, my brother, half's it, or do I get the first half for? I'll give it to you, bro. I'll give it to you. Bro. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. You, right. you, 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 you know, I want Stacey Jane's brother. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, see. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'll take Stacey, cuz. I think Stacey is actually Fardno, brother. Yeah. Shout out to Stacey. Oh, yeah. Like, 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 it's not like, fuck, oh, it's my mate, but like, yeah, so his yeah, yeah. and my nan are first cousins, like, actual, yeah. Oh, Mung nice. Emery, Mung Emery and, uh, and my nan. Uh, that was like your favorite cousin, but yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Does these, yeah. But it's not like, yeah. fucking, that's my bro. Like, just, yeah. yeah. Actually, fun, I think. <laughs> uh, seven, I'll, I'll keep it to you, SJ, Sean Johnson. Oh, yeah. 
far. Oh, I, was, I was like, there's no way he's picking this guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you thought I was going him the way? Yeah, you thought I was going George? I actually thought, and then when he said Stacey, yeah. I was like, damn, I forgot about Stacey. Very Stacey, but who goes 580? That's the thing, the way a lot of the time they didn't really have like a, a no. deputy Z, brother. <sighs> Like now, I'm wishing I left our Lance Ohio and pick someone. Actually, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put Stacey and Lance back together, grand final halves, and then Ooh. I'm gonna put uh Motu Tony at um hooker. Yeah, Motu yeah. Tony. Who you got? Okay, so you got yeah, all right. Yeah. I'll I'll no, 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 not Motu. I'm gonna put him at hooker and then I'm gonna put Lance at 5'8. I'll put uh Maloney at number six, James Maloney. Oh, fuck! Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, on, bro. Wait, you bluff me, cuz you bluff me. Oh, <laughs> That was good, brother. Wait, anybody that's listening, who do you reckon wins out of those teams? It'll be, it'll be interesting. Uh, yeah, hard. Well, if you've got a little uh, thing, a little system, you can put it all in and, uh, you know, do a little game. Chat, chat, let us know. Uh, put, make those teams with the rugby league game or something. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Do you game at all, brother? Oh, growing up, I see game. Um, now yep. I just, I, I kind of game now with my kids during the weekends. What are so they, what mainly, uh, they play, brother? Bro, my son plays a bit of Fortnite, but we jam Madden, FIFA, NBA, Ooh, mom, man, yeah. all the sports games, eh? Yeah, and we play for bedtimes, bro. So my cousin are meant to be in bed by 8.30 throughout the week. Yeah. But then if I'm in a good mood, 8 o'clock, bro, I'll tell my son, chuck the game on. If you beat me, you sleep at 10 o'clock. Oh, on. Hey, bro. that's on, Carl. There's two sisters and his younger brother are in the lounge, like, cheerleading him on, like, cheering him on. Oh, hoping, eh? Yeah. Come on, keep us awake, yeah. brother. I like him, yeah, he, man. He's got to a stage now, like, everything I've told him now, he's, like, beating me out of there. So I was like, oh, you know, so... Now nah, it's good, man, good fun. But I don't game yeah. as much as I used to going up, so yeah, man. Yeah, solid, brother. The, uh, speaking of the kids and uh, Mumsy, how did you and Mumsy meet, brother? What's the story there? Yeah, man, we were, like, high school sweethearts, man. So we've been together since... Uh, That's beautiful. How old was I? About 15, man. But she went to another school. Um, but we kind of met through cousins. Her cousin was dating my cousin. Oh, she's your cousin? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not the mattress oh, bro. room, bro. bro. I'm getting worried now, bro. I'm getting worried now. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, no, that's how we met, man. And then she kind of saw me when I was with her her cousin's partner. And then that's how we kind of met. It was things just went from there. And oh, then, God. yeah, man, about eight. But when I was like 17, we ran away from home, bro. Took off. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, bro. Took off. I took off because um I picked off from work one night. Yeah, uh, this is a story, man. Not much people know yeah. about it. I picked off from work. Now they're gonna know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I bought it to my to my auntie's house, and my auntie told my mom, she's like, "Hey, Tinder was here with a girl," and my mom was like, "Oh, nah, nah, nah." So she popped over. Mom was like, "You you can't date my son, you know, blah blah blah, you know." So she's like, "Tinder, tomorrow morning I want you home. Take this girl back to where <laughs> she's from." And the thing was, man, it was too late. I couldn't drop her off home, like. My girlfriend at the time, I couldn't drop her off home because her mom was fuming too because she was late. And if oh, she goes home, she's gonna get the yeah. bashing Z. Like, like, oh. I can't let her go home or else, you know. Yeah. So we stayed at my auntie's one more night, and then early hours of the morning, man, we made the we made the missions. Eh? We took <laughs> off and stayed at, we waited at the park. I texted like, a mate of mine. I was like, I called him, I was like, bro, pick us up from Papa Toy Park. We're stuck here. We want to go. Oh, Papa Toy. I still lived there, yeah. brother, when I was a kid for oh, yeah, just off oh, around Shirley okay. Road, old Papa Toy around there. Yeah, I used to live, I used to go to Punui school, but I used to live on York Road. Hey. Oh, York, oh. all those streets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Road, brother, yeah, yeah. yeah, back in the days. Yeah. I lived all over the, the country, but yeah, I lived there for my old ladies. Uh, well, my sister's dad and their dad, they got a homestead. There. I don't know if they still do, but yeah, I used to have a homestead on, on York Road. Yep. Yeah, they're far new. No, true. Oh. So, and then, what happened there, brother? Yeah, man, and then he took us to one of my cousins. Um, they stayed out central, yeah. I don't only longer, and we stayed there for like about bro, just under a year. Oh, we holy wreck, brother! <laughs> yeah, man. But oh, actually, we were there, like, oh, yeah. there, but they all pissed off at us. They're like, Oh, bro, these dudes, <laughs> eh? like her family were hating on me, my family were hating on me. I was like, You know, and my cousin was in the middle because bro, he couldn't do much because he was getting in shit too from his mom. Like, how yeah. come he's holding me and my wife? Yeah, but it was good. But then and, he didn't um, want to. He didn't want to kick you out either. Eh? That's it, bro. He didn't. What a solid dude. Shout but, out but to that like, cousin. Yeah, man. But I was, yeah, but then my wife fell pregnant, and then we moved back home, man. Yeah, she fell pregnant to my daughter, who's sixteen this year. <laughs> You're sixteen. <laughs> yeah, man. So we've been together ever since. And we've yes, yeah, so we've been together for about eighteen years now. Married for three years. 
E... Yeah, yeah, so it's the... Yeah, What's the secret, cool, brother? What's the secret? What's the oh. <laughs> uh, uh, bro, uh, to be honest, man, everyone asks me that, eh? Mm. But I just feel like... I think when everyone gets into a marriage or a relationship, they always expect everything to be 100%. That's what I feel mm. like. But I feel like whatever um, relationship or marriage you head into, you just know that there are going to be rocky times. Mm. And, like, I don't, like, I feel like also that... Uh, people expect 50% from your spouse and you go 50%. But bro, I there's going like to be days when, no, nah, there's going to be days when your wife can't even put in that 50, you know? And if you mm. expect that 50 to come through and it doesn't come through, bro, you're going to be an angry man. So I feel like mm. there are going to be days when I have to put in the 100%. You know, she's probably not in a good mm. mood. And there'll be days when she'll have to put in the 100 or 80%. Yeah. And that's it, bro. You know, so I, I feel like, awesome. yeah, bro. So don't go to heading into a relationship and you're expecting your wife or spouse to put in the 50 and you put in the 50, it should be like, bro, just take whatever comes. You know, there'll be days when you feel like shit, she'll take the load. And there'll be mm. days when she's feeling like shit. So you got to take the load. Mm. And I feel like that's, that's pretty much it, man. Just don't expect too much. Yeah, mm. man, I feel that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is, I, I asked my uh, I asked my baby mama's dad one time, we've been in there for how long, how him and his, uh, the old lady we were together for so long. He's like, just shut your mouth. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it's just, I guess I guess that was his answer to like sure. your she's always right <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> you know, I think that was his, that's how it worked for him anyway. That's such a buff. Yeah, yeah, I like that one though, brother, because and, and that's right. I think even in relationships in general, right? I think a lot of people think like you always like, it's always gotta come 50, but like just in yeah. friendships, even but sometimes you you know we we aren't, like you said, because we aren't as human beings. We all go through ups and downs, or whether you're tired from work, or your social batteries drain, whatever That's it is. Because, yeah. and you know what I mean, yeah. migraines, whatever. You, you, it's just some. It's impossible yeah. to be fifty-fifty for it, you know. That's it. Yeah, and then your wife's got to take on the load. They got to do the kids for maybe the, a day or two because you're yeah. not feeling like it. And then there'll be times when you got to take the load, you know. So I feel it's like. Simple. It's a man. Just don't expect too much from someone. And that's what I yeah. look like, bro. Like, don't expect too much from anyone, like, no matter what. Because if they mm. don't pull through, you're going to feel gutted. And whose fault is it? Your fault. Done. Mm. Yeah, Beautiful yeah. So, brother. I, yeah, don't expect Something. too much from people. That's He's dropping yeah. game out here for the brothers. Hey, 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 brothers. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. And the sisters. Yeah, yeah. that's... Uh, I like him, my brother. Yeah. Fijian uh, Samon, who's the... What's the... What's the guy? Is that dad yeah, Samon? Yeah, bro. Uh, my old man, Samon. My old lady's from Fiji. Yeah, your man, old man yeah. likes the vinakas, eh? Let's go. Yeah, shout out to those. Yeah, what's yeah. this story? Do you know they love story? How they met or uh, they still together? Or, or? Uh, nah, they're not together, man. My oh, old man. Geez, um, my, my old man did the milk run back when I was about 14, oh. 15. You know? Oh, oh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I never came back. Those ones, those milk uh, runs. I never came back. It's just, yeah, we do keep on touch every now and then. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, you know, I'm old enough to know that, you know, it's my part to actually see what it's about. So we keep on touch. Oh, oh hey, I needed to hear that. What you just said there, brother. I think I needed to hear that. You said it's, it's a now you're older now, it's also your your job to you know see what he's all about. Because like I, I was the same brother, like mine was I was fucking five, brother, when my old man left. But but we always kept in contact, but he was more of a phone dad, brother. Like, and then I'd come, he lived in Perth since I was five, brother, or four. So yeah. I, I'd come over here for holidays and stuff like that. And he always told me he'd want me to come over, but, you know, like to live. But by the time I did come over and live, because I was like a teenager and already like, bro, then tell me what to do. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. So I think, yeah, there's something I need because I always uh, think, because he would ask me, hey, I'm just there. Like, oh, fuck, I don't know. But like, like, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm way better than I used to be uh, with him, uh, you know. But mm. yeah, you got to let go of some of that stuff here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. And plus, when you're young, like, I don't know, sometimes your old lady or whoever around you is like, bro, your dad's all shit. You know, your dad's blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, that's and true. Like, it's like, where is he? And it's like, yeah. bro, you kind of get lost. And then, yeah. but I think you do get to a certain age when you can do things, you understand life. And I feel like that's when you just say, you know, who's my dad? Like, what's he all about? You know? But um, yeah, I kind of did have a relationship with my old man when I was a bit younger, which yeah. was kind of cool. But um, I feel like the things that I lost from him, I'm giving back to my kids now. So yeah. for me right now, yeah, man. For me right now, time and family is the only thing I value. So family is huge, man. Like, I'm always spending time with my kids. I mean, it comes to time, like, am I wasting time? Who am I spending time with? You know, all those small things. Yeah, man. So it's not like before when I used to just be out and about every weekend back in the day. Now it's like, bro, my family is who I am right now. 
Yeah, yeah I love yeah. that, cuz. But actual, like, bro, straight up, that hit me that just that little word you said, cuz, of like, you know, I'm old enough to know that it's up to me, too, to like keep that relationship going or whatever. Like, cuz for me, I was always like, well, if you don't want to have a fucking relationship with me, or then <laughs> fuck yeah. You know what I mean? Like, or not, not that, that, because he, you know, he'd try, he, but like, for me, it was like, bro, especially having kids, I'm like, cuz, how can you have kids and like, not like you know, because you you know you your 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 dad that's that's all about it. Cause like and for me, I'm yeah, like, yeah. this is the best. This is so cool. Like you know what I mean? How you can't yeah. like fucking? How you gonna go to a whole other country without them? Like you know what I mean? How can I? That's you know, that's that, brother. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. and I don't want them to feel those ones too, brother. Of like, the old man don't like me because or, or like, bro, you are gonna play football and they're growing up because everyone's got the old man. Or they're in jail, yeah. or some of them. Uh, but like, I don't even have that cool story. G, mom wasn't in jail, <laughs> or, or, yeah, yeah. or another one. Or like, sometimes it's the bro did the milk run, like you know, but he never came back. Bro, mine I was talked to him quite a lot on the phone, but <laughs> never <laughs> see him. You know what I mean? So it was sometimes yeah. I just wish that I didn't know him, brother. Like, because then I wouldn't know. If, like, that's how I used to feel. Cause so, yeah, shout yeah. out to the bro doing doing uh, doing that mahi, uh, doing some mahi over here too for me. Cause thank you, brother. Oh, that was sure, good. man. Have that to was man. a good yeah, yeah. Brother. impact there. Cause yeah. you, all your mahi with the youth and what you do in the communities, brother. You probably whether you know it or not. You know, you just feel it's rubbing off, cause he, even uh, even on the, even to a thirty-two year old Maori <laughs> brother, you know, amateur podcaster. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, also something nice. else, bro. I feel like you knew when you were young, right? And we look at our parents, we think they've got everything, that they're perfect. Mm -hmm. But as yep. we become a parent, we, we realize that they were just learning, bro. You know what I mean? Learning, bro, it's out of us, man. It's out of it. Yeah. But when we're young at school, we're like, oh, bro, my dad knows everything. My dad's got his life sorted. But when we're dads now, we're like, bro, they were just learning. You know, like, I always mm -hmm. think back, I'm like, bro, my parents were just learning at that time. <clears throat> That's how I always do things. Yeah, and they yeah. didn't have the resources and the help that we have now. Yeah, well, so, that's yeah. another thing too. That's yeah, right. Mine were teenagers, cuz like I got to think about that. But uh, mine were teenagers, like sixteen when I was born. Baby, how, how they can be parents? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Then, yeah. So yeah, you're right, brother. You're right. So, yeah, that's it, how it, I kind of see things, man. Yeah. And that's something I say to my kids, brother. You're learning every day. It's like a, you know we were Absolutely. learning every day. Like wipe out for life is a big philosophy of mine, cuz you know yeah. if you do martial arts, that's the first one you get. Usually mm -hmm. is a white belt. You know, so you're yep. always, always learning, you know, always can learn. Uh, yeah, that's, that's something the kids are always learning every day, baby. Yeah, learning every day, dad, you know, mm. it's something. So, yeah, you're right. And just, I'll just learn today because I'll just learn today from the, the oh. sound of tea. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so, what you, so you did like three months on Facebook and then like, what does that, what happened? Right, yeah, so what I did, um, so, if, so for me, the, um, what I thought to get into broadcasting, like, I realized you had to try and be confident. Because, bro, I'm a real shy dude, bro. I'm really introverted growing up. Like, my family knew me. Yeah, man. That's like, probably why your mom was like, hey, radio. What are you up to? That's it, bro. That's it. And, bro, the funny thing was, when I started posting stuff on, on Facebook, like, I'd go live every night, bro, just like yourself. And I was doing my own radio shows. And my family were laughing, bro. Like, no shit. They were like, what's this dude up to, bro? You know, like, he's not cut out for this. And I, I thought about it, bro. I feel like no one knows us the best other than ourselves. Mm. Like, you know what I mean? Like we just know just said, we just know our kids just based off how we know them, but they yeah. know themselves better. Yeah. And like no, like I realized, man, these dudes don't even know me. Like, you know, I thought about it. And then yeah, man, I went live for three months. Um, bro, we went through a bit of you know, ups and downs, like just mentally and everything, just like because I wasn't working, bro. I was um I was going through radio school and there was no <sighs> income coming through at that time, and I was like, bro, is this worth it? You know what I mean? Oh, and then true. I'd be live and there'll only be like one viewer. And like bros, and then I feel like that's when you know they say your why. That's when your why kicks in. Like when you only got they one matter view about that one view because you're shopping like, in your tools. Yeah, bro, that's it. Yeah. And I was like, nah, bro, you got to think about the purpose. Says like, and then there'll be yeah. no viewers at some stage. Like for one hour, yeah. bro. Yeah. I still be. And I was like, nah, bro, stuff. What a stuff what a beast! Nah, just just yawning there. No one's fucking thing. But the that's thing it, is, yeah, bro. That's it, man. And, and I'll get people. Yeah. And I think the hardest thing too, as any broadcaster, is when you're trying to tell something passionate, you're, something you're passionate about, and you got all these ha-ha emojis coming through. You know what I mean? Oh, oi, oi, that's oh. a good one, cause when you when you're used to it, bro. You're probably used yeah. to it, but it's like, yeah, yeah. yeah I think I should kill myself for that, man. I was like, oh, bro, don't laugh at me. I thought we we're friends. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, like I feel it. like that's where you see the true colors, bro, of like people around you. It's like, yeah, and I feel like sometimes, like growing up with humans, bro, we always want to feel connected. And when someone we're connected to doesn't like what we do, 
it's either we fold or we keep on going. And I felt like that's where you got to keep on going is those moments, yeah. bro. And yeah, man. Wait, I heard something too. I mean, quick, because I like uh, so something oh, I can't remember verbatim, but the gist of it is like, <laughs> stop trying to convince people. Just do it. Like, just that's Boy. the gist of it. But I forgot how the quote goes. But stop trying to convince people that what you what you're gonna do is gonna be the best, or what you're gonna do. Just do it. You know what I mean? Just do it. Just do it. Uh, um, you know. And if people, as you do it, the people that are meant to be with you will will become will will, 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 will attract them. You know what I mean? Like, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Or those people will start to come around, and you will realize who are the ones that are gonna keep. That either push you to the next level, whether it's a networking, whether you're bringing them on your team and you're going to be a squad to get whatever it is, you know what I mean? They can yep. solve a problem for you, you know what I mean? And and, you know, and they're willing to do it, you know, because some people too, like, very like, some people are willing to do shit, like, just like yourself, like, how you're doing yeah. that to know viewers. Some people also wouldn't do that, whether it's like the edits and stuff, like they just like want to like get better at editing. They're like, do it, for, yeah, I'll do it for free cars. Like, if you've got no money yeah, to pay yeah, them, you right, know. Yeah. And there's content like, but they, they get sharper. You get sharper. You also get to grow a platform by putting stuff out. Yeah, mm. hard. But that's pretty much oh, when I hear that one. I was like, yeah, because they because at the start, cause or before, I was always try, I was trying to tell people like, yeah, this is the player, but they man, they're not listening to me. Cause no, not even it in there. What are you all about now? You know what I mean? Like even my father, like I said earlier, cause they're just like podcast and the, oh this is the one i got the most because everyone does podcasts and then i was like oh, this wow. is so what you know what i mean everyone and then i was like yeah but everyone ain't me you know what i mean and, yeah, yeah. and i'm not the next person either you know what i mean it's like whoever right. else is doing and then i was like well shout out to the boys Horry's tough stories another solid podcast and oh, uh, man, with the, yeah. yeah the boys out here um uh, shout out to the boys will job Kairu Takarangi and um, Levi Kasek Ponga. New episode with Levi on, on the podcast today, actually. Yeah, he's Kaelin Ponga's first cousin. But um, he, mm. um, but uh, e even uh, on that podcast, uh, Will Joy read out some uh, some cool stats on podcasts about, I think 94% of all podcasts fail. So, like, don't go beyond 10 episodes. <laughs> you know That's what I mean? Amazing. And then out of that remaining 6%, you know what I mean? They, they Out of that remaining 6%, the, the, the viewership is crazy. Like, there's, you know, you're getting like, there's, 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 there's so many, um, like, just, you know, up, up close to a billion worth of like, uh, people listen to them every week. And, and the listening time is like seven hours average weekly, like, across. Mm. So there's like, bro, and it's, it's early in the game. I mean, and it's just, so, um, I'm, I, I still think it's early in the game because I still know you yes, find out that don't even know about them. But then they like, they like listening to documentaries and they like listening to that. So, like, you know, they listen to, like, audio books and stuff. Like, when yeah. they start to, more and more people come over. Yeah, they will start to listen. But, anywho, fucking now sounding like my interview, not yours. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> no, no solid, brother. So, with the with the whole broadcasting unit, do you have a do you have a little plan? Like, you're just going to just see where it goes and keep going, brother? Or, like, at, Never. Yeah. So at the, yeah. So, um, I'll see how it goes. But I feel like um, I still got more to offer. You yeah. know, you, you know it is, man. Like you don't know your time until you know you, you just start getting signs. And I feel like I've still got more to offer. Yeah. I'm still working on a whole um, purchase a whole, whole lot of stuff, man. So yeah, yeah I'm looking forward to it. So my yeah. shows are the weekends. So I'm um, Saturday, okay. Sunday. Weekends. Yeah. Yeah, there's my shows, man. It's cool. Uh, I like What's it. What are you doing there? What are you doing there? What are you talking about? Ah, we are so you know same thing, man. Like we just um, talk on subjects that resonates with our audience. Mm -hmm. So at the at the moment, our audience are, are Pacifica from the ages of seventeen to about forty-ish. That's our audience, and then we just build content based off that, based off oh, the community. Okay. Yeah. So man, how just, long do you got to put in, like, in the studio? How many? On uh, the studio, hours we'll be there for about, so twelve to four. So we'll be there from oh, twelve yeah. to four. Four yeah, hours. Man. Yeah, about four. Is hours. it an afternoon thing? Afternoon, yeah. Oh, yeah. Monday yeah. to four p.m. Yeah, so yeah. Saturday and Sunday? Yeah, Saturday and Sunday. Mm. Make sure you're still yeah. going to church, boy. No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> I can't talk. I don't go to no church, boy. I'm talking smack. That's all. <laughs> 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 Bro, I'm, I'm a true believer in like... Um, oh, 
Oh wait, what? Oh, the change. Oh, is that me? Oh, nice. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Sorry, brother. No, something oh. was switching to me. Sweet is, brother. My bad, my bad. No, I was saying. No, I was saying. I'm a true believer, and like you didn't have to go to church. Um, like going to church doesn't define you as a person. If you know what I mean. I'm agnostic because I can't talk out, but I don't, even, I don't even know who's what, brother. I just think, well, let's love each other, man. That's all, man. Good, That's all good, bro. As long as, bro, I'm going to do that. Like, I pride on people's values and who they are, as you know, as human yeah. beings. Yeah, yeah, if you've got good values, bro, that's all that matters. I don't care who you believe in. Like you can believe in Thor, but be a good dude. That's it, you know man. what I mean? That's it, brother. And that's that it. sounds crazy, but people actually did believe in Thor back in the days. And no, oh, you know, and the, there's Vikings just as much as people believe in Jesus today, brother. So you yeah. believe in oh, whatever. Yeah, same like, thing, bro. You're like just, me too, bro. Yeah, yeah. Cause just I'm on that page, you know, yeah. be a good dude, eh? Or like, a, <laughs> if you're cool, like yeah, yeah, bro. It's like me you too, know? like yeah. Sometimes I don't know, like I, I just don't go based off their religion, like you know, like yeah, a lot yeah, of people know. When I meet people like around, they go, oh, bro, what church do you go to? And sometimes if you say the church you go to, they'll start looking at you funny. But um, if that was me, I'm yeah, like, bro, I don't care, bro. Like, yeah, I don't care. Or, or, or some will be like, like for example, if they be like, oh, Mormon. And then I'll be like, oh, check the brother Joseph Smith. And then they'll think like, I'm judging them. <laughs> I'm like, oh, well, I just know oh, that's the bird. Yeah, yeah. I just know that's yeah, yeah. the bird because, you know, or it, if it's... uh. Or if it's bloody Jehovah's Witness, oh, Charles, Taz, Russell, hey, to the brother. And they're like, hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've done some research. Yeah, as long as they're good dudes, man. You know, as long as they're yeah, good dudes. Yeah, Charles. Oh, 100%, brother. That's what I'm saying, man. Yeah, you know, you can believe yeah. in nothing if you want, but still be a good person. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> what, um, have you, do you know much about, like, obviously 14 when the old man did the milk friend, so you, you still know yeah. a lot about your Samoan side? And, yeah? Oh, bro, I'll yeah. tell you one thing, man. Bro, that's something I'm trying to go back to. So, mm -hmm. growing up, bro, growing up, I never identified myself as a Samoan. Never. Bro. Oh, true. Uh, high school, I did it. You look um, pretty Samoan, my cousin. Yeah. And, then, and the reason was, bro, there's a deep meaning to it, was because, like, bro, my old lady used to get the bashings, bro, from my old man. Oh, bro, and that's when I hated it. I was like, bro, I thought all Samoans were like that. Yeah. And then from there, bro, I was like, nah, bro, stuff it. And then, bro, I didn't want to know, I didn't want to know the language, didn't want to know anyone that was Samoan. But all my mates at school, they're all Samoans, and I'll just put them in one end because yeah. I look like when I'll jump in, but I just yeah. didn't know the language. I knew the swear words and stuff, but yeah. I feel like, um, well, did your dad not talk to you in it either, bro? The thing was, like, my parents are both fluent in their, language, in their languages, but, but they never spoke to me in it. I don't know why. Oh, so you, you, know? you didn't even really know Fijian, or you know, a bit more. I understand it, I understand that. Oh, um, yeah, now yeah. I'm more to my Fijian side now because my old lady, yeah. so it's been yeah. like me and my old lady since so it's always been me, so I'd always gravitate towards my. Fijian side of things, um, Fano, yeah. all that stuff, the language, roti, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> roti, yeah, let's go, yeah, let's go, yeah, let's go, yummy, yeah, yeah, so are you, are you like the, you like the Fijian in the or like the natives? Oh, bro, the hearty natives, brother, natives, <laughs> fuck us, there, yeah, yes, yeah. bro. None of these ones they are for the oh. <laughs> Shout out to the brothers, though. We love you. No, yeah, no, yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, they be beefing over there, too. I've got a couple cousins and natives there. Because then I, I remember, like, I'd like, you know, I'll be like, oh, cousin, like, do you have some, like, um, is like, he's got some natives and uh, he's, uh, he's just straight natives. And then, yes, we bloody are. Like, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't even know it was that deep cause. Yeah, like, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, uh, at the same time, the brothers didn't mean uh, they got left there, eh? So it was pretty, pretty simple. That's it, man. Could have done much here, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Do you, so you don't know much what about like the culture side of Fiji, like sort of stuff. Oh, a lot of it's so, stretched through the way. Oh, so with um, uh, do you mean my salmon or Fijian side? No, no, no. Oh, oh, but they, well, both or either, you know. Oh, so with the, so the salmon side, I'm like I said, I'm still trying to, yeah, but the, to Fiji side? the culture. But the Fijian side, bro, like, bro, I know all about the cultures, the customs, the traditions. Mm -hmm. My old lady pumps it into me, eh? so yeah. she always tells me, like, when there's a funeral, bro, I've got to be in there, eh? So yeah. even though I can't speak the language, bro, I've got to be amongst it, so I know yeah. what's happening. Because if there's what's some differences, talking, like, um, that you can say, like, what you've seen. Have you been to Maori Tangis before, brother, or nah? Oh, I would say, nah, probably just nah, I haven't, bro. Oh, okay, okay. Now I was going to say, what's, yeah, the, yeah. what's the difference in, in like the way that the car, that they do the funerals and stuff? I was just wondering. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know for the, um, I don't know, because I know there's like certain um, tapus and stuff, especially around the, the Fijians. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I know, yeah, bro. So with the Fijians, 
So if someone dies in the house, like just say yeah. I died in the house, my body has to be taken out through the back door, I think. Through the back oh. door. Oh, oh, true. Yeah, now that's sort of things. Oh, yeah. that's sort of like um like in two way, yeah, they go through the they go through the window, I think. Like uh, oh. when, you know how like they go to the marae. You know, you know what yeah. a marae is, you know. Yeah, they, yeah, instead yeah. of bringing them through the front door, you gotta take them through the window because oh. only the living walk through the door. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, but then yeah, it's, no. it's different each, uh, like each, uh, each uh, place. Yeah, you go to. Oh, yep. I think it's two. Oh, fuck no, bro. I'm a bit of the day. I better get it right out. Ah, if I'm wrong, <laughs> come back, come back, come back. <laughs> yeah, one of them, one of them. I don't know. Yeah, bro. I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm like a mate, or like heaps of different, like all oh, Maori, but like, like Ati Apa, there's two. Oh, there's Ati Awa, there's uh, Ati Kahungunu, there's Ati Mani yep. Apoto, there's a little bit of Ngapu, you can say. Yeah, but a bit of a cocktail, cuz yeah, that's yeah. the one, bro. That's the one, yeah, and then a little bit of uh, Scottish in there somewhere, too. Yeah. Generations back here, a bit of a convict, too, cuz <laughs> yeah, Ooh. yeah, uh, they'll never take our freedom. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, brother, crack up uh, I was, um, so there's, there's this fun over here in Perth, and they, they took me off the streets, cuz when I was a teenager, and like, you know, pretty much. I'll give a lot of like my life being you know being alive and today like to them but like I love them man like still still the olds even though I'm very much thankful I don't even go see them but I don't go see anyone really but like I love them oh. the bits they were and like all these they their kids I'm like my siblings pretty always but I <laughs> we were watching uh Tonga versus Scotland brother and the old man very he's crack up to hear Hurricanes he reckons Tonga versus Scotland. He goes, they may take our horses, but they'll never take our freedom. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Tokos, man. Oh. Have you had horse before? Horse? Nah, never, man, never. My yeah, wife's talking. No, I haven't yeah, tried it. Cars. This is your mess, G. Yeah, Straight yeah. Oh, yeah, I've heard about it. Mm, nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about dog? You tried that one? Nah, man, nah. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I tried that not not willingly. I didn't know it was a dog out, brother. Like, yeah. Because some of the Cookie Brothers, um, I can't remember what island. One of the brothers when we were like playing footy and that when we were younger, uh, like teenagers in there, they put on a bit of a munch for us there. Like the dad yeah. it was like a dog stew. We didn't even know until the next day because we were just young bucks partying in there, there like you know, cracked it in footy. What was that like? I was wasted. I didn't know. Yeah, but but <laughs> but I felt weird after the next day. And then the, yeah, the old lady. <laughs> No, no, because but but what happened was brother the old lady from next door, she's like, hey boy, hey boy, and yeah, uh, her dog was gone. No, no, just oh. yeah, that, 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 that part wasn't true, but the dog eating apparently was. The bro tells us the next day, he goes, oh, How did you like dog? I was like, What the hell? Oh. And he's like, Oh, I was like, bro, that's weird, gee, but. But then again, I think about it, bro, you go to the Philippines because they have it on the menu. <laughs> so, you know, some villages. Yeah, yeah. But then I heard like, uh, you know, Andrew Schultz, the comedian? Yes, yes, yes. But he had a good bit and I was talking about, so he, he goes, put your hands up uh, if anybody's like a vegan or something, for example. And shout out to the vegans. Oh, i got no problem with the brothers. You, what, yeah. what you want to eat? The only thing I don't like is if you tell me that I have to. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Then no, 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 no. Go. <laughs> you know, but... um. <laughs> Yeah, so and then he's like, he's like, oh, and then he goes to the lady, where are you from? And she goes, oh, from America. No, 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 where are you from? And she goes, oh, I'm Filipino. You know, he goes, oh, your cousins in the Philippines, do they eat dogs? And she's like, yeah. <laughs> and he goes, yeah, because they're hungry. Yeah, hey? like, yeah. <laughs> and then he goes, <laughs> he goes, because you live in a country where shit's put on a plate for you, you know, everything's all sorted. So that's why oh. these I that's why this fucking idea exists. So now it's pretty much a that's crack up on it. <laughs> It's like the idea exists because you fellas just think, you know what I mean? Like, because you don't have any Crazy, problems, man. so you create them, you make them up. That's play, a, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Shout out to the vegans, they love us. Yeah. Shout, shout out, man. Shout, shout out, fellas. Shout out. Oh, are you a vegan? Ah, oh, sorry. Was... No. <laughs> <laughs> Next one, I'm a vegan, G. What are you up to? <laughs> no, no. Not a vegan, bro. No. Nah. Yeah. Shout out to, I've got a couple of bros that are, but they like have a laugh too. They can have a laugh too. Yeah, they have yeah. A laugh about it. Even even one of the players um been on here or um the Hunui, yeah he's a he's a Tamaku artist um and oh nice and, and he was saying that uh well just the artist in general actually he, he um he even cracks up at people like you know the stereotype or like some somebody does something he's like oh must be a vegan but he's he is one himself <laughs> <That's a lot. laughs> oh, and it's been for a long time yeah like eight years yep. or so 
as long as you're having fun over there, you get some that That's are really hot. Yeah, 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 like they were like, more. bro, one yeah. day the two guys, I was like in a restaurant one time, but I was having me a bit of a steak in there, just enjoying. And then the lady comes over and like throws my plate on the ground and is like, That's murder. I was like, Hey, what the hell? That's the, that's the stuff that I'm like, what the hell? Hey, leave me. Leave me. Hey, do I come over and tell you uh, not to not to eat the lettuce? Like, you know, how dare you kill my lettuce cousin? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Solid, brother. What's the plans, brother? What's the plans for you for the for the year ahead? You got any big events on coming up or anything like that? Or just yeah, because um, yeah, I also MC at um a couple of community events. Man, okay, tell us yes, about yeah, this. Um, so, so normally towards the end of the year, I do a bit of um emceeing, uh some rugby tournaments. So that's been coming through. And bro, yep. this didn't all start until I started um getting into radio, bro. Nick Miner, hey brother. That's hey. it, man. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. I just didn't realize who's the, cl- hey. who's the club you do or is it a club or is it a big tournament? Oh or um the last the other the Oceania rugby tournament that happened out Ooh. here in uh, yeah, out of Feb. That that was that was my that was a big one, man. I enjoyed it. It's who, crazy. Who went yeah. today? What's that? Who goes Oceania? Like all, all the all so the like all Fiji, the Samo, like Tonga. Mm-hmm. You know they travel from overseas and they try qualify you, for the Fiji World and Cup. Samo play. Yeah, bro. He won that did one. You Fiji. Fiji took it out, bro. Fiji took it out. Do you, or do, you, do you go for Fiji or Samo when they play? Ooh, depending. Eh? So for rugby, I'll go Fiji. For league, I'll go Samo. Eh? <laughs> ah, no. I mean, that's like those. Uh, that's like those mozzies that go for the go for the All Blacks and go for the Kangaroos. <laughs> that's it. <right. laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. Stop the party. That's right. Yeah, but how cool that was! Pretty cool. They what tour did a few years back, in, man. I think that's crazy, crazy. And man, I think crazy. The, I think the catalyst for all of that was the Tong the Tong and Dogos deciding to. That's it, man. That's it. The Jesse Samalolos, Andrew Fita. So many of the father were like, "Oh, look at these traders, LB. Fuck, look they're going to play for their people, cause that's mean." Yeah, that's like they laid it down, man. Look at them now, yeah. Look at our yeah. our teams now coming up. But it's good, man. It's good. I like it. Yeah. yeah shout out to Lolo here too. He came on a podcast and talked about when he when he been back there. It was like they were yeah. kings back in Tonga. He's one of the you know trailblazers that um later. Yeah, they went and done it too, because you know you got to play for Kiwis. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, how trash were the Kiwis? They were fucking World Cup too. Oh, Larry. we lost oh, to uh, we lost to we lost to Tonga and we and, and Fiji got a dumb paper. <laughs> yeah, today that was a close one, man. That was a good yeah. one. Yeah, but like, man, I think that's cool, man. Like to see now all our all our people showing like New Zealand, like yeah, they've been powerhouse in rugby league for years. But like, why not like let the brothers crack it too, you know? Go see some more, get up there, yeah. And like you know what, I, I think it's cool too. Like that they have like I know the Aussies don't like that origin. Those origin players can also go and play for the islands as well. I yeah, like yeah. it though. Like why like not here? Because like if they grew up in that state or whatever and they're eligible to play for the state and the rule says they can go and play for the islands because of second tier nation go why hard not? brother yeah why not? why not represent the state you grew up in and go represent your people that's Silent. it and it makes the game better like that's like that's Aussie, not, just listening to the aussie commentator not the uh not, not all of them but some of them like they um they're pretty much as haiti now like 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 what well, you just want to be a powerhouse only like far they just want to grow the game you know what i mean Look at yeah. what rugby is, cuz like as much as we as sucks that the All Blacks, but they still made it to the final. Like they get the last few years that we had, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's cool that the whole world has come up because forever, all our lives, besides World Cups mostly, we just dominate, cuz you know that's what I mean? A, that's a day, man. Yeah, just we want to have some off. close games there. Yeah. 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 You, you want to see that, man? It's cool to see Argentina. It sucks seeing us lose, obviously, but it's cool for them. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's mm-hmm. cool for the game and like. Really, I don't understand why. I mean, I understand because it's those those um home nations, eh? The six nations ones that vote against like the rules changing where it's like two years instead of what is it, four or five years or whatever. Yeah, the, four, yeah. four or five, two yeah. years. If, if the All Blacks and Wallabies and England and France and Ireland, well, if they're done with them, let them play uh, for the That's you know what I mean? Oh. Yeah, yeah. That's but it. Pacific makes up like 60%, 70% of the whole game worldwide, cuz like, <laughs> it's like the it's like it's like colonization all over again. Just take, take, take. That's an age, just really subtle now. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah we, we, we're speaking to some things before we get out of here, brother, because I know you gotta go on a couple of quick ones. Is that okay? Yeah, bro. <laughs> if you could have one kai, one food, one meal for the rest of your life, what do you choose? Ooh. 
I think like good hangi or something eh, Umu. Oh, you like hangi, brother? Yeah, hangi's mean. Yeah. yeah. Not, not like the hangi pants. Yeah, hangi. Hangi, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, brother. Far. Wait, have you ever, have you, like, do you make your own sometimes or? Nah, nah, man. Nah, we didn't make our own. Like, we have family that do it. Bro, nah, bro, nah. get some, get some, get some, uh, oh, because what's mumsy? Uh, Fijian. Fijian. Oh, yeah. back to the roots, my brother. Oh, my, oh, my wife. Oh, Tongan, Tongan. Oh, no. Oh, Tongan. Oh, baby, oh, 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 okay. Let's go. Say peto. Yeah, no, I mean, that's it, brother. Uh, it, so even that, with the hangi, though, brother, have you ever tried any, like, because we are like, oh, like marinate meat and brisket out, chuck it in there. But you tell the fun yeah. and try that out, marinate some brisket out and chuck it in there. It makes it taste so much better. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah. yeah. because, because, like, as, as yummy as hung is, it's a bit bland too. You're like, it's good, good, quiet, but it's bland. Yeah, yeah. It's like, some chewy. Hey, you know, you know, gotta get, get a bit of flavor in there. Oh. Hefty, man. Hefty. Yeah, 100, 100. If you could have one superpower, which one do you choose and why? Maybe even create one if you if you want to. Oh, superpower. Mm. Besides the ones you have, <laughs> a superpower. Uh, I think just probably go back in time. Yeah, would yeah, that count as a superpower? Yeah, yeah. What, what what era would you go back to? Oh, probably the mid two thousands, high school days. Ooh. Oh yeah. yeah, what would you do? Or would you talk to yourself, or would you go dong the body? I don't know. I, I think I just talked to myself here. Eh? Just yeah, yeah. Probably, yeah. Just, yeah. I think the mid two thousands, my high school days. Probably went listen eh? <laughs> I, I wouldn't listen to myself. Oh, shut up! <laughs> if I came back there, <laughs> I know Wait, what you I'm. Know, up you know, what's one era I kind of took for granted would be the yeah. um the lockdown era, level four lockdown we had here in Oh, NZ. true. Like or, yeah, I'll go back to those eh? I and think then what, well, and I like, and pivot, granted, pivot, like, then put in some money, or like, what would you, nah, or, just, what would just you do? actually enjoy be present it? in the moment? Oh, okay, because I feel like you like, you know, like there's a lot of family time and stuff, but I was, I was, yeah. I was a bit too focused on trying to get out of it, trying to make that mahi back again, but I didn't oh, realize, man, you know, okay. the kids were home, yeah, yeah. That, I like that, one problem. Thing I'll back to you, bro. It would be yeah. probably level four lockdown and just, yeah. bro, be in the moment, eh? just be yeah. present. Yeah. And then if you're if you if you if your younger self listens, go back there. But yeah, if you come in to talk to me, cops, but well, I'm not listening. <laughs> I'm not listening when I'm a kid. I don't know. <laughs> I like yeah, it. Yeah. It's beautiful. Uh, give us a um, visualization, brother. Ten years from now, what's life look like for T Fisot? The sound of T. Oh, ten years from now. Uh, oh, I think I'll still see myself serving in the community, mm. whether it's through uh, mentorship, broadcasting. But doing times some type of serving, bro. I feel like our purpose on earth is to serve, bro. Just like what you're doing now, you're serving through your podcast, all yep. that stuff. And bro, do you know what I do when it comes to my birthday and Father's Day, bro? I wake up and I, bro, I, I cook the whole day, bro. My kids and my wife, they're like, let us do it. Like, no, nah, I'll do it because that's me serving them. So I'll wake mm -hmm. up, bro. I do breakfast. I'll make lunch, you know, all that stuff because I feel like that's my time to come back. Like, oh, even though like they're angry, like, nah, bro, yeah. this is me coming back. What a and guy, man. Like, what a that's guy. Awesome. Far up, brother. Yeah, you got brownie points for life, my cuz. That's it, man. That's it. down forever, brother. Let's go. <laughs> my man. Always, bro. Yeah, respect yeah. Respect my brother. Respect that. That's yeah. solid. But I, I feel like I, yeah. I think that's the actual trick, brother. When you say, like, you know, 50 50 is not a, I think it's bloody that I'll be for on your birthday, it, still, still serve. Hey, yeah, that's it. Still you serve, bro. Keep that, bro. Like that's all, awesome. yeah, 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 man. Any advice for anybody that wants to like yourself? There was uh, either sit, sitting on the fence and or, or they, they wanted to chase a dream, uh, like broadcasting, uh, and, and they, they haven't yet, or, or they're young and want to. Any advice for them? Bro, I would say just um bro, self-belief is the main thing, eh? Just mm. self-belief. Yeah, a lot of us we, we we doubt ourselves big time, man. We're the biggest doubters. We I know we doubt ourselves more than we doubt others. Mm. And when it comes to that, man, we just put ourselves down. And I think another thing for growing up, or like anyone in general, is just bro, take action and don't worry about what other people think about you. You know, because sometimes we don't do things because we we don't one, we don't either take action or two, we're too worried about what our friends and family think. So mm -hmm. I think that's key, man. Just bro, whatever you have down, bro, you can have the best goal written down, the best plan. But if you don't take action, man, you gotta do it. And when you take action, bro, you'll come with haters. 
And I feel like a lot of people don't chase their dreams, bro, because of, bro, the Fano talking about them, people hating on them. So just, bro, take action, bro. Bro, stuff people here. <laughs> That's how I see it, bro. Yeah, man. My man. I like it, brother. 100 I'm at the age now, brother. Like you, bro, I'm at the stage where, bro, I don't really care what people think about me. <laughs> Who cares, brother? Who cares? They don't pay our bills, brother. Hey, 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 bro. Bro. Yeah. You know, a lot of people, they just hate doing stuff because of, you know, um, the approval of others. So I'm, I'm at the stage, I'm like, bro, stuff use, man. I'm making my video, or bro, stuff use. I'm doing what I want to hey. do. Post them, man. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, and just teach the kids these things too. Especially in high schools, but I tell them that, hey, because, you know, social media, bro, like, a lot of the kids now, it's just the way they are emotionally. They're like, they don't want to do things because, you know, their best mate might say no and then they'll start getting a bit iffy. But I'm like, bro, bro, stuff people. <laughs> Not in a bad way, but that's how I say nah, it. No, nah, just in a real way, bro. brother. Just looking that's out for it, you. Bro. And that's what it, your dream is. You. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I want to jump on the back of that, because cause I'm a big one on that, brother. Just, bro, who cares? You know what I mean? Bro, like, like I said, I used to stream by the heart. You, you know, have big live streams sometimes, cuz you know, bro, those comments go off and it's just That's trolls, right. brother. Bro, I mm. don't even read them, cuz like then like even and if you're just posting content, I'd say, bro, don't even post for the comments, just post to get better. Post just put, just it. put it out there, cuz even just turn your notifications off and just keep posting. Yeah, <laughs> who cares? Don't even yeah. read them. Uh, Joe Rogan, I heard him say a good one, brother, a few years ago, saying like um he used to get really down about the comments, but they used to get to him real bad. And then he stopped. He said he, when the day he stopped reading them, he, like, you know, he felt way better and he's never felt better. He's never read them since. Like, he, he doesn't go reading comments, but he just posts and goes. He's like, I'm not posting for your comments anyway. I'm posting because I want to share this either information or this thing that yep. I've learned or just my opinion. Mm. And, you know, let the algorithm do what it does. That's it, man. Yeah, and plus, yeah, bro, I think all this, bro, just everything in life, like social media and just the world we're in now, man, it can um, break and it can damage us mentally, eh? And I feel like that's why, like, you know, it is, man, I feel like it's important, like, bro, our, our well-being is the most important thing. Like, yeah, no. bro, 100%, bro, you know what it's about. So every morning, bro, I make sure I get my morning routine in place, bro, oh, no yeah. mucking around, eh? And, can we hear that before we get out of here, uh, your morning routine? Yeah, bro, I still got a bit of time, bro. It's all good, bro. I, I, I'll be all good, bro. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so uh, my morning routine, bro, bro, I wish I knew about this earlier, eh? like, bro, five, six years ago. I wish I knew mm -hmm. about it. But um, I started implementing this morning routine for about, bro, three years now. So every morning I'm up at about four or five o'clock. I uh, do my meditation, bro. My gratitude. Med do you meditate, bro? Fuck, no. <laughs> but tell bro. me. Tell, tell me, cousin. <laughs> Bro, bro. Oh, bro, what are you bro, doing? Like, magic, you, you're sitting there like, hum, what are you doing? No, <laughs> no, nah, nah, not that, bro. Nah, oh, fuck that. Bro. <laughs> 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 nah, bro, none of that hum stuff, man. Oh, true, because, nah, bro, bro it was so like one of, the, one of these uh, sisters trying to get me into it ages ago. She's like, yeah, hey, brother, this will be good for you. I was like, all right, we'll give it a crack. In. Oh, not oh, that hum ones, nah. Nah, well, it is not so pretty. Oh, not actually meditating, but it's kind of like just sitting in solitude, bro. Every morning, oh, silence. Because oh, that's what it is, eh, brother. That's what meditation you're is. Doing it's just like, thinking. You know, yeah, just thinking, thinking man. Because a lot of people don't want to sit in silence, bro, because they don't want to battle their thoughts, man. Because when you're by yourself and you're in silence, you, you bro, you, you're, bro, you're thinking so many things. A lot mm. of people don't do it because, you know, they don't want to battle the thoughts. But I feel like, bro, you have to battle it. Once you get over those thoughts, man, and you can just sit in silence and just clear your mind, man. It's crazy. So I've been doing a bit of meditation, mm. bro, five, ten minutes, just, bro, just breathing in and out, sitting in solitude, bro, and just sitting there, man, sitting in silence. And then after that, I'll go to the gym or I'll go to F45, F45 class, do a bit of training. And yeah, I, I feel like once I get my, you know, that Tefari Tapafa uh, module, you know, that is yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. So I make sure my physical well that was that? Explain it to people that don't know. Oh, so the, uh, the Tefari Tapafa, um, well-being model pretty much touches on your mental health, your mental well-being, your spiritual well-being, physical, and um, your social and your whanau. So I make sure I get those four things done every single day, but I try and get it done first thing in the morning. So it sets the oh, tone for the day. Done. Okay. Done, man. So before I walk out the door, man, I make sure I get these things done. So I'm ready to face what the world's got to throw at me. Yeah, man. So that, that yeah, every bro, single I like day. You. I like you, brother. I like you. Eh? Yeah, you have to, man. Yeah, man. You, yeah. Just, you just never know, bro. You know, you just never know what you're going to come across. Yeah. So if I can just keep myself calm in the morning, you know, prepare for what's going to happen, and then bro, everything should be good. You know, those days mm. are gone. I used to wake up like half an hour before work, man, you know, just rushing out, just really alert, you know, just not all there. 
But now I'm like, bro, up three hours before work because I know oh, I'm gonna okay. get stuff mentally prepped, bro. That's a day. And then, so bro, what my time you knock off? What time you knock off? Because, um, bro, I'm pretty flexible with my job at the moment. So, um, today, no, I sleep, got sleep, up, sleep, sleep wise, knock off. What oh, time sleep you go to sleep? Oh, bro, yeah. about nine ish. About nine ish, okay. I should be sleeping. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, nine ish, I should be sleeping. I'll do a bit of reading before I sleep. I feel like that's my reading time before I Ooh. sleep. Yeah. Bro, because all these things I wish I knew like six, seven years ago, eh? Because now I'm like, bro, my mind seems Imagine like where you'd be. But, but hey, you know now, cuz. You know now. I know now. Yeah. Daily deposit every day like you're doing, brother. Yeah, man. Yeah, so yeah, just all those small things, just making sure my well-being is okay. Because I feel like once I'm all good, I see the turn for my family. And then my kids will be all good. The way I treat my wife, my kids on the daily, everything will be okay. Because I realized back, bro, six, seven years ago, bro, fuck, I was hard, bro, on the stonies, everything, bro. Straight up. Just yeah, the stonies. <laughs> yeah, bro. Real Bro, real bad, bro. Stony counties. <laughs> bro. bro, the wakes and bakes. Yeah, I think about it now. Eh? Fuck, I was like, that was me, bro. I Cheerio. broke up this week to my, my kids. I've never one of those in a long, long time. The yeah, wakes bro. and bakes. Oh, Damn, really dropped the kids off to school. Bloodshot. I'm like, I think about it now. I'm like, bro, I, bro, I can't even do that now. Eh? Like, that's not me. Yeah. Oh, but like, good, eh? You fire. Because I'll, I'll be honest, cuz. Before before this, I don't know what the fuck you did. Oh, like I knew you worked at the radio and stuff. Like, yeah. and I thought you worked with the bro. But like, I yeah. try to look like hard out, but there ain't that much info, cause he, nah, you know. Nah, not me, man. Yeah, nah, yeah. so I was trying to yeah, yeah, hard, cause the, so I was like, fuck, like, cause you know, obviously I like to you know, do a bit of study for each person, you know, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and then I was like, oh fuck it, we we'll just go and have a yarn. Yeah, Sometimes still you, brother, still but clean, this brother, has been yeah, this man. has been a bloody joy, cause like straight up, it's been awesome. Uh. To just learn about you, cuz, and uh, hear yeah, your story, yeah. and see a little bit of my fucking stupid thoughts, and you know, whatever. But no, like, fun, uh, yeah, bro, but wow, yeah. it's me. What you're doing, bro, inspiring, and that's what I like doing, man. Just inspiring at least one person. Like mm -hmm. whenever I go speak, cause I speak at events and stuff too, bro. And whenever I speak at schools, I don't try and inspire the whole school, cause I know I won't. But if I can, yeah, nah, it's too many. Person, yeah, to, yeah. Just one, one person's good. Yeah, if you can change one life at the far, that's mean. That's yeah, it, like, bro, that's, yeah, that's the goal, man. That's yeah. what I feel like, too, man. So that's because um, I did a bit of youth tutoring last year. Oh, and I made sure, bro, these youths, man, I'm going to, you know, just give them values. So, um, sorry, Kazi, if I'm taking your time. No. Oh, I'm yeah. Gonna be. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. So, um, bro, when I was teaching, and then when I jumped into the youth space, um, tertiary provider. Like, my goal was, what I was told from the manager was to get them the level two foundation skill certificate. Yep. Right, but my goal, that wasn't it, bro. My primary goal was to teach them good values, bro. Become good human beings. Because if you oh, can't, God. bro, that qualification means nothing, bro. That's what I was yeah, thinking about, yeah, eh? God. I was like, bro, yeah. give them a good you attitude. Be, have that and be a dick. <laughs> that's, <laughs> still a dick like, no one want to hire you or no one want to work with you. That's it, man. Yeah. I was, that's what I was telling me. So every morning, bro, that's what I do to them. I'll change it up. Bro, they'll come in the morning with you like gratitude journal like be grateful about something because in the gratitude bro it plays a huge part so mm. i do a bit of gratitude journaling with them and then we just focus on bro, us as humans you know just bro, being good people values attitudes and then little by little bro i start implementing in you know the work they need to do in order to get their certificate go mm. teach them life skills man that's all they need yeah. i was telling them man yeah just bro, just being a good dude and I feel you know, like a good the, example of it, brother, like of the mahi you're doing. Like, it's yeah. not just, uh, you know, like I want to help people, but then, like you said, like if you were still that stony, coney dude, like, you know, it probably yeah. wouldn't work, brother, or cut through as much. But not that's that, it, you're like, right. I, don't, I don't judge anybody that's stony, coney, but I'm just saying, like, because of the, the life you were living that at that time, that it wasn't your purpose or that, or no, your goal was nothing, man. Yeah, 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 man, yeah. yeah. Crazy, you're, like... you're authentically what you're talking about and what you're trying to implement with them, you're living it, brother. So, yeah, you know, I think authenticity shines through regardless, because, like, you know what I mean? You can wear all these masks, and we all do in life sometimes, but yeah, yeah. Even if even on social media, I think the biggest ones that cut through the most are the ones that are authentic. Like I don't know if you know Spanian, like you know, they yeah, might not be everyone's dead. cup of tea, but bro, yep. like the bro he's just real. doesn't care because he's him. Nah. He's like, this is how we are at lay, and this is what it is yeah. from where I come from, cause and yeah, 
I loved it, brother. I loved it. I've, I've, I've really yeah. enjoyed learning about you, cousin Margaret, and like uh, learning uh, about what makes you tick, uh, how you got to where you are. And I know there's yeah. way more layers you can't cover, you know, 30 plus years of life in uh, uh, an yeah. hour and a half. But like, you know, all of it, cousin. I love, I love what you stand for. I love the way you are with your children and the way you speak of your wife, your children, the way it's beautiful, my brother. The, yeah, the way you yeah, do for bro. all these kids out there. Shot, Keep man. doing it, man. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate. Anything else you want to cover, brother, before we get out of here? No, what I say, oh, bro, brother. Two things that I think everyone should learn should be, um, as always, a good attitude, but building relationships with people, man. That's it. I think those are two things that will get you to the top, and yeah. just um, leading with humility. Like for me now, brother, I didn't use the word humble, like it's gone out. You know, yeah. humble. Yeah, like yeah. It's yeah. Yeah, so yeah. I just use um, very humility, bro. That's something I I'm really yeah, humility. Hey, yeah, 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 brother. Yeah. Well, that's the application of it anyway. Of what the, uh, of that's, that's a, true. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Humble is the humi yeah. you know, humility. Yeah. I like that humility. Yeah. Sure. I'm gonna have to use that one too. Humility. Yeah, brother. Yeah, but yeah, bro. Use it, man. Use it. Mm. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. That's that's been me hard. I'll just, I think, just focusing more on others than myself now. I think that's how I see things. Back in the day, I always wanted to be in the front. You know what I mean? But now I'm at the back. Now I'm like, you know. I think it's time to build um other people. And I think when you help others, that's where the true um, you know, the true um shine will come through there. And for some reason, sometimes we don't help people to get something out of it. But bro, you get oh, nah. you just awesome, help bro. people to uh, just to do it here. Yeah. Like that is yeah, hard. Even you cuz like um if you have any questions cuz along the journey, like I don't know, that I can ever answer, brother, like or you think I might set me up. You know, if, uh, yeah, even bro, if you yeah, want to yeah. talk to any of the people that I've talked to, because I can ask, I can make, I don't know if there's a yes, but I can ask. I don't mind. Oh, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. Safe is. Safe is, brother. Yeah. Hey, waka eke noa, brother. We all in this together, brother. You know, uh, I just want to say, brother, time's the most valuable commodity we have as human beings. The one thing we can never get back, we can always get back money, we can always get back things, but time spent is time lost. So thank you for sharing over an hour and a half of your time, brother, with me. For waiting awesome. for me also, brother. Uh, time that you could have spent with your family, wifey, or doing the mahi that you love to do, brother. So grateful, my brother. And I hope this isn't the last time we sit down. Hopefully we get nah, to sit down in the brother. flesh too and have a hangi together. And, uh, because, Are you impressed, bro? Are you impressed? Yep. So if you're out here or whenever I come back to the the great the great nation of Aotearoa, brother, and I'll, I'll be yeah, hitting bro. you up. Bro, at this point, I would have to do a huge reunion. I was staying in Darwin for a bit, bro. I don't know the NC. Yeah, bro. Oh, true. Yeah, I was there for about a year and a bit. Back in 2012, oh. I was there. What were you doing? Yeah, so, was working. Yeah, my uncle, um, he ran a recycling plant there. So me and the boys, we stayed there, eh? It was good yep. for a different vibe. Um, not much, um, but it was good when you saw, oh, like, yeah. some of the bros there, one of the bros or <laughs> some of the bodies <laughs> there, eh? You become yeah. close because there wasn't yeah. much back then, bro. Yeah, not up there, but, uh, really. Yeah, I worked I work yeah, a little yeah. bit in the NT, but, like, a lot in Allison there, like, uh, in the community yeah. homes and that, like, building them. And stuff like that, yeah, and uh, yeah. doing yeah, yeah, some fun stories. Cuts for it. Oh, yeah, yeah, the bro. brothers there. Yeah, the funny thing was, bro, every time some we used to go out, yeah. we used to go out, and um, the indigenous boys used to come to us, and they go, "Oh, you from Indian?" I was here, bro, and they go, "Oh, once we're warriors." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were calling me Jake, and then I was like, "Oh, bro. not the Jake." <laughs> bro, all the parties we went to, eh? they'd ask yeah. me, bro, Kiwi. Yeah, once you're warriors, once you're warriors, I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like, yeah no. <laughs> Can you say anything? We were right around. No. <laughs> you seen that one? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah bro. Yeah, bro. Oh, nah, bro. No, good, bro. Good, bro. <laughs> nah, but big blessings. My Thank you so much for watching this full episode of Mind the Mic. It takes a lot of time, energy, and effort to create these episodes. So to know that you've watched and listened to the entire thing means the world to myself and all our hosts. If you could, before you leave, please hit the subscribe button and share this episode out to as many people as possible. It would help us so much. Thank you again to everybody that's still here, still watching. Thank you for all your comments, all your shares, all the DMs. Appreciate you all. Make sure you follow us on every platform. Have an awesome morning. Have an awesome night, depending on where you are in the world. Mind the mic out. Oi, have you hit the link in bio yet? Watch full episodes on YouTube or listen on Spotify, Apple Podcasts and all streaming platforms. Do it.